Doug Ford's government introduces a new sex ed curriculum. Good evening from Queen's Park. In the past, thousands have protested here on the front lawn, both for and against the previous Liberal government's sex ed curriculum. Doug Ford promised to scrap it, but his new one is very similar, drawing both praise and scorn. Now, when to teach children gender identity has been a flashpoint in this debate, and it seems the government is trying to reach a compromise. My child and my choice. Few issues have been as divisive as Ontario's sex ed curriculum. When Kathleen Wynne introduced a new one in 2015, social conservatives protested, with some parents keeping their children out of school. Education under attack. When Doug Ford repealed it after being elected and reverted to a 20-year-old curriculum, students demonstrated en masse. This is the compromise, a new health and physical education curriculum introduced today, which includes sex ed. The issue that has caused the most controversy, gender identity, will now be taught in grade 8 instead of grade 6. But sexual orientation will be taught a year earlier, in grade 5 instead of 6. Homophobic bullying will now be taught in grades 5 through 8 instead of starting at 6. And school boards must allow parents to opt out of the issues. Before, boards would allow it on a case-by-case -case basis. It's not a massive change. Are you walking a fine line to appease both sides? Well, first off, on identity, uh, it, there's a prompt in grade 7 and it's being taught in grade 8. I think the reality is we want young people in this province to know that irrespective of their faith, of their heritage, or their orientation, their economic status, or their place of birth, that they are valued and they're respected. They should feel safe in the classroom. The new PC curriculum comes after province-wide consultations that cost more than a million dollars. Doug Ford wasted a year playing politics with our kids' safety and well-being. Instead of learning about things like consent and gender identity, kids in this province lost the last year studying 20-year-old health and physical education curriculum. The divisive issue helped Doug Ford become Premier. He narrowly won the PC leadership race thanks to the support of social conservative Tanya Granick allen who today is calling him a liar. Doug Ford won because he promised the parents and the children of Ontario that he would get rid of what he called liberal ideology being forced into the classrooms of Ontario. He has failed to do that. Nothing has been repealed. Doug Ford lied. But the tightrope act has not alienated all social conservatives. Evangelist Charles McVitie, an ally of the premiers who's fought against the liberal sex ed curriculum for close to 10 years, is praising the changes. The real power here is that a parent now can have their child opt out of the program. They must get 15 days notice. Gender fluidity, sure it's still there, but all the half parent has to do is sign a note, say no, not with my child. 